artists, welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with Sky. So another rough week we had dealing across the world with all the same problem, which inspired me to paint this piece today, uh, which is pretty self-explanatory. We are in this together. We've all been reminded of what a tight-knit uh, community we really are all in here on planet Earth our little spaceship Earth and with a little heart. So I wanted to uh, dedicate this painting to every human <laughs> on the planet. Uh, and I'm gonna start today with a black canvas, which I have underneath here. I've already painted it black. You can buy a black canvas or you can just use uh, like a painting that you're not too fond of. <laughs> uh, it's a really great way to reuse old canvases. I think I did have another painting. I forget which one I had under here, um, but I end up with a lot of duplicates. So it's a good thing to do with that. Um, I have actually some unique tools for today's class as well. This is a pot lid. Um, I did use a bowl with my first circular uh, size. So this is a little bit larger, um, but I quite like this size. Uh, and you can just kind of experiment, depends on what size of canvas you're using and what you have around your house to find something, the correct shape there for a little trick. And I also have my second unusual tool is an old toothbrush, which I'm going to use to create my splatter painting. Uh, on the side of the canvas, I have my water cup as well as paper towels. I have my three standard brushes that I'm using, square brush, medium sized brush, tiny detail brush. Make sure that those live in your water cup whenever not in use. The colors that I have today, I have two whites because I know I'm going to use a lot of white. This first time, uh, first little uh, thing of white I'm going to use to create my splatter painting and that I'll use later for the rest of the painting. Uh, I have two different colors, blue, a cobalt blue and an ultramarine blue. So the ultramarine is a little bit darker with a little bit more of a purple tone. I have a nice bright green, uh, yes my other white, a little bit of yellow, uh, brown, and then <clears throat> red for our heart later. And we'll use that actually in the second part of the class. So the first uh, half of today's lesson is going to be splatter painting and the earth. And then we're going to take a break and come back and put final touches and do our lettering. I'm going to show you guys a fun way to do lettering as well. So let's actually, we're going to start with our splatters, but I'm going to use my medium sized brush first. And with my little batch of white down here, I'm going to blend up a nice smooth uh, little batch of watered down white that's going to splatter nicely. Then I'm going to grab my toothbrush, dip it in the white, and then going diagonally across my canvas to, to make that sort of Milky Way effect, I'm going to just flick the splatters just a little bit like so. Okay, easy first step. Now go ahead and grab your circular item and you're gonna wanna center that as best as you can. I'm gonna grab my tiny brush and some of that same watered down white and I'm very lightly just going to trace the outside of that shape. Perfect. Okay. Now, still using this small brush, I'm going to do probably the trickiest part of the painting, which is going to be my countries, or continents rather. Uh, I chose to center this painting around Africa. Uh, you can certainly center it around whatever country you'd like. Uh, I feel like, genealogically speaking, uh, most people on Earth come from Africa, so I just thought that would be cool to make that sort of the center of the Earth. Um, so I'm going to just sort of loosely do that shape, kind of bulges out on one side and then becomes more narrow. Just really a suggestion of Africa. And then I'm going to do a little suggestion of the Middle East going that way. And I'm going to create a little Europe 
as well. So we're going to come down here for France. I'm just going to wiggle my way up here. It's not going to be exact whatsoever. I'm going to do sort of maybe where the UK would be. I'm going to create a little, I suppose, Greenland and an East Coast. And then a little bit of South America would be popping out too. So that's not, again, like super duper accurate here. We're just doing the suggested shapes of the continents of the planet. So once you've blocked out some nice shapes there, and we uh, know where our, our continents are going to be versus our ocean, go ahead and retire that baby brush and grab your medium sized brush. Now we're going to use this to fill in the oceans next, and I'm going to start with a lighter blue in my center. I'm using Simply Simmons brushes, mostly Grumbacher paints, a little bit of cheap craft paint today as well, since uh, craft materials are not essential, but we're going to figure out uh, how to get craft supplies. I'm going to figure it out for myself and I'm going to figure it out for these classes. So check the description box below to see uh, where you can get materials and what materials that I recommend. There'll be a link to that below. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cobalt, mostly in the center, and then I'm going to grab a little bit of the ultramarine and I'm going to do the outside edges and that's what's going to give this that spherical shape. You're using a little bit of a textured brush stroke here, um, but also it doesn't need to be super duper consistent. Um, so a little bit of a sort of messy painterly style looks really nice when all is said and done here. I'm just using the darker blue along the outside edges. And then gently blending the two blues together. It's okay if you go a little bit over your lines for your continents, it's okay. We're going to fill those in in just a second and we'll have a chance to clean those up. Make sure that you're using enough paint to cover the stars. Okay. See how that makes it look nice and spherical. And bring it into every little ocean and sea. Okay. And then once you have your oceans filled in, go ahead and rinse your brush. Actually, one second. I'm going to do a little bit of dark blue. Okay. And now we're going to do the land. So similar, but slightly different. So we're going to, again, start with a lighter color. And I'm going to use my green. I'm going to mix a little bit of that yellow, maybe a pinch of white as well. And this is going to be a sort of grassland color. So I'm going to start along the edge here of my suggestion of Africa. Put maybe a little bit of grassland over in the Middle East. And you get to kind of build your own little world, which is fun. My Greenland would have ice on it, so we're going to add ice and clouds in the second part. But for now, we're just going to work on green 
and also some brown. But first, get that light green in, then add some slightly darker green. Kind of here and there in each of your little shapes. Some areas might just be different colors green, but some areas you might want to grab a little bit of your brown. And you can use either just right out of the bottle brown, kind of mixed with your paintbrush green, or you can also make like a light deserty beige. Add a little bit of both. Especially in Africa where our focal point is and where I know there is desert in the northern part. Make our lovely Sahara desert. Up there towards Egypt. Okay, that looks good. There'll be a certain point where you're, you have kind of gotten the effect that you're going for. And then there'll all be a point where you've gone too far. So when in doubt, leave it out. Just kind of tap those colors in, bring them out to the edge. Get a little bit of variation going in there. Little emerald isles. Okay, that's looking pretty good to me. All right, so we're actually going to do this painting in two parts. Once you've gotten your lovely little mountain areas and grassland areas and ocean all filled in. Uh, we're gonna let this dry. And when we come back, we're going to add our words. I'm gonna show you guys how I space out words and make them look nice and neat. Uh, and then we'll also, also finish up our earth with clouds. And then of course, put our little heart uh, as a message of solidarity, solidarity and love to all creatures of earth. Okay, so let this dry and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, welcome back. We are all dry and ready for more. I'm gonna start from the top down here so that I don't end up putting my hand uh, and messing anything up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is some text. Now you're gonna want to decide what color you want your text to be and also sort of what font that you want your text to be. Now my tricks for creating really nice signs and lettering in general is to actually mock up the words in like a Word document or Photoshop is what I usually use. Uh, and I can actually put it like in whatever font that I like and then have something to look at uh, and copy from there. So I chose for my original a very clear uh, font that's also going to be really easy to paint but you could do any sort of font that you like you can do like cool swirly ones um, a nice script font or however you like you can also curve this um, I think that would look really nice as well and my trick here okay so pick whatever color that you'd like I'm gonna use light blue and my baby brush and my trick is to start in the center of the word and then work my way out from there. So spacing is very important. So in this case, I'm gonna write, we're in this, in this top portion. So this is four letters, we're is four letters, in is two letters, in is going to be the exact center of my phrase. So I'm gonna go eyeball the center line here and right above that, I'm going to create the N, straightest line that I can, in, you can also use a paint pen 
for this. I think that would be really fun and maybe a little bit easier if you're not quite comfortable holding a brush yet. And then you can do it however you'd like. You can either do weir or this, but you want to try to keep your spacing consistent and your lines straight if you're doing a clear font like this. I let my painting dry fully before so I can actually lay my hand down on my canvas without smudging the paint. All caps for this font. In this. And then sometimes it's actually easy for me. It can be kind of a brain bender to spell things going backwards, but I like to go from the center out. So I was able to go that way. Sometimes I like to go backwards. So I'll do an E next and try to space it the same distance from here. And then an R. a little bit more of some curves and sort of curly hues in this one to jazz it up just a little. Apostrophe. Trying to match my first E as best as I can. Cute. And it's supposed to look handwritten, so don't worry about it looking like it's machine fabricated, because it's not. And then together, I can see this is a little bit too short. Together, the center of that word is going to be ET. <laughs> so trying to center that right along that center line. I'm going to create a T and just build from the center out. Create an E, lining him up. with each other. We're in this ET. <laughs> ET H E R. And I'm making my word together a bit more spaced out since this is more lettering, try to make it somewhat even. And then we're gonna write the word tog T-O-G. O. Keeping everything kind of tall and skinny. I wanted it to look like a poster. I might turn it into a poster. Mm-hmm. 
looks very nice. Okay. All right, I'm gonna add some clouds now. I'm gonna work them back in our earth. And I'm gonna use my medium sized brush. I'm gonna work with white and a little bit of light blue. And I'm gonna do not just clouds, but also maybe like some, what would be ice. And I'm just gonna kinda tap it in there. And some ice over there. Let's see, there would be ice along up here. Maybe a little bit down here. Be careful not to put your hand in your wording like I almost did. And then for clouds, I'm gonna use actually a little bit of light blue as well. And you just kind of scribble your way along wherever you'd like. I'm gonna leave my center part somewhat open for my heart. And then a little bit of white right on top. It's going to give those clouds some depth. Kind of tapping my brush. And also changing the direction of it so that I don't get a pattern. And it's sort of a mix between tapping and scribbling. Okay, so cute. Okay, let's do a red heart now, super easy. You can use your same medium sized brush or you can use a baby brush. I'm gonna go with this big bigger choice. I'm very comfortable with this size brush because it comes to a nice point as well. And again, try not to mess anything up that you just did. You wanna center heart. And make it match as best as you can, one side to the other. <clears throat> And then just go ahead and fill that in with red. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you want a fair amount of red on here so that it's really bold and vibrant and so that it covers up whatever is underneath. Cover the planet with love. So cute. I would love to see your paintings. If you're painting along with me today, or if you're just an artist in general, I created a Facebook group called the Art Club, <clears throat> where it's designed to share our work, get support from one another, ask questions. Uh, yeah, and it's for artists of all levels, completely supportive, completely positive, so you don't have to be scared. We would love to see you there. There's a link to the description uh, in the description box below to that as well. Uh, something exciting that I'm starting as well is what I call Pause Premium. So Pause Paint Along with Sky Premium is going to be a Patreon 
and then I'm going to launch this month uh, our first live Q and art is what I call it like Q&A only Q and art is going to be on the third Thursdays it's going to start this month uh, in April there's also going to be premium content you're going to get voting rights on what we're going to paint uh, and then there's also going to be monthly supply giveaways and for the first 50 people that sign up for pause premium I am going to throw in uh, my new course which is called acrylic boot camp uh, which is going to be usually for sale uh, up on Udemy and it's going to be in the price range of around $40 so that's going to be a uh, benefit that uh, you can get on pause premium for just four dollars a month so a dollar a week half the cost of Netflix uh, to chat with me monthly get access to premium content voting rights on projects and that new course so check that out information to all that is below as well and if you want to uh, just keep in contact and know what's going on and learn about this and all of our great offerings make sure and join my mailing list there's a link to that in the description box below as well okay baby brush last final touches on today's painting I'm gonna grab a little bit of black and you can do two things with this uh, you can sort of outline your planet if you want to give it a really nice clean edge that does take some patience if you'd like I kind of like to just clean it up in a few areas where I may not have gone all the way to the edge just kind of clean it up a little bit if you'd like that's kind of an optional step and it kind of looks neat to have a little bit of a glow on the outside edge sort of like the atmosphere very cool or you can cover it up and make it nice and clean either way and then with that black you're also going to outline your heart I think I'm going to go up here as well Yeah. always makes things look a little bit more graphic and sort of illustrator the technical term to add a little black along the edges I like that some people don't and you don't have to do that step and then also outline your heart also an optional step you don't have to do this if you don't like the look of the black edges or you're just not super confident uh, with your dexterity yet the red heart is fine on its own as well okay very cute and then rinse that brush clean final little piece de la resistance a little bit of white clean brush clean white and this could blend if your red is really wet still but what you want is to have a pretty clean swipe of white you may need to go back at it and create a little curve mark over here and then either on this side like this or down here you can add a little shine marks here and there really just a few I'd say either two or four to keep it even uh, my original I just had one on each side so you can try it out and if you don't like it you can cover it with red really easily as well 
Uh, so say you don't like that, you can easily just go boop. <coughs> and make that however you like. Oh, I have something in my throat. I'm not sick. <laughs> I'm okay. I was drinking coffee. <coughs> have a break. Okay, there we go. So yeah, you can play around with that and add them if you'd like. I can't decide which one I like better. I think I'm gonna leave it at that. That looks really cute to me. And I had a really fun time hanging out with you guys and creating this lovely feel good painting. I hope it made you feel good. Uh, I hope you guys had fun and were inspired to get creative. I do hope to see you over in the art club or even at Pause Premium. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay creative. Thank you.